Hi there guys, uh, welcome again to the Kingfisher. This is part two of a uh, two-part tech, uh, tech talk that we're doing on uh, Tackle for Bronze Bream. Now guys, before we get started, please uh, go down in the bottom, like and subscribe. The notifications are on the bell icon, just click that, it will let you know when we do new videos. And guys, please, we really, really value your, your comments and your opinions on these kind of things. So in the comments, let us know uh, what species you want us to do next. Let us know what, um, what tackle you want us to talk about or maybe where we've gone. Um, if you want to know more about a certain thing that we've spoken about, that's your, the comment section is there for you. Please let us know and uh, yeah, we'll get back to you. Guys, today we're going to be talking about a multiplier setup uh, to use for specifically for scratching and this is going to be particularly towards bronze bream. The end tackle that I spoke about in the spinning video, which you can see the link down below, they, that's, it's exactly the same tackle there. So your leader material, your swivels, your hooks and your anti-tangles are all exactly the same whether you're using the spinning setup or whether you're using this multiplier setup. Now with this multiplier setup today, we're going to be talking about an old faithful the Poseidon Coastline, they are very, very light. This is the 12 foot six light. There is a 13 foot six light, but it's a little, it's a heavier setup. So this 12 foot six, it's a one to three ounce. So obviously with that, you're gonna be using one to three ounce sinkers, which is ideally for, suited to where we're gonna be fishing. Your, the reel of choice is gonna be the Dawa Sea Line 30. Now, high speed retrieve. So for getting the sinker out the rocks, for retrieving your trace, getting it up in the water column so that you're not uh, losing tackle and getting it stuck. The foster retrieve really, really helps in that. It's all graphite, so graphite side plates, graphite spool, and that's gonna help you um, keeping the whole setup light, but it is not suited to braid. Anything with graphite spools or graphite side plates are not designed to be used with braid, remember that. So it's got the bigger, bigger power handle on, so you get nice cranks on it. Even though this is light tackle, it is sometimes nice to be able to have that feeling of power. So that little guy there, nice and small, set up there. Onto that Kingfisher Giant Abrasion 20 pound. It will take the full, maybe just shy of the full 600 meters on there. So you're never gonna worry about line capacity, but that guy on there, on this rod is a phenomenal little setup, nice and light. You can even spin, you can spin with this, so you can throw spoons and things like that. But yeah, this, for the guys that prefer a multiply setup, this is the one for you. So, Dawa Coastline 12 foot 6 light, it's a three piece rod, all graphite, uh, Poseidon winch setup on there. They've kept the, the components aren't at the top end of the spectrum, so we're not talking about Fuji K series guides. So it keeps the price a bit, a bit down, so it's a, a much more affordable setup. You've got the Dawa Sea Line 30, you've got Kingfisher Giant Abrasion 20 pound, and then your Maxima Leader, which is 25 pound, you can do 30 if you want. And obviously the Japanese Power Swivel Combis, your Mustard Ring Chinu Hooks, and then the Corda Anti-Tangles. Guys, that is, it's a very, very short video, very simple. This is all you need. It's a very nice way of catching these fish, and still nice and light that you can keep moving along the beach and fishing. So guys, that was nice and short. Thanks very much for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.